Hey, Healthy Heroes, check out the 2024 AGB Closer event, point of view of my scout, on a mod to seek out magic glyphs hidden in an armory. I don't know that there's any exit strategy, by the way. So it's a hallway into an armory. And I do hate that. But the exit strategy is kill everything on the way out. Yeah. I just like that if, if, like, what if it caves in, then we have to dig it out, and I would love to know more than one option, but we don't. We were the second team to try this, as the first group was lower level, and they got chased off by the guardian constructs. They came back asking for stronger folks to be prepared to head back in, so we were Clyde? able to look at and smell, thanks to my Gorbin scenting, a single glyph that they had been able to retrieve. I'm not again going to talk to Plot. To let them know that Oak and I sniffed a glyph. And Oak was shown a glyph to look at, so like he knows what he's looking for. And this led um, to advantages, especially for my case, character, that Plot to got to moderate during our attempt at this raid. They are all oh, so we, we just... cannot find them. Ah, uh, okay. It's a hot and cold game. Mod okay, mechanics okay, like this are creative and subjective, everyone, all thanks to the wonderful Plot staff and marshals of the events. <laughs> it's basically a hot and cold game, so if um, while combating and everything, if you are actively searching, ping me to see if you're getting close or not. Here's our fearless okay. leader, Can Matt. Can we do that while we're fighting? Yes. Okay. One of the owners so of AGB. Matt. Like, if, if you're sniffing, yeah. Um, okay. Or just look at me. I'll try to follow okay. everybody. Because okay. <laughs> I'm going to be doing both, like, at all times. Yeah. I'm going to be like, bap, 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 bap. I got a nose. The way this mod works is not anything standardized in a rule book. Okay. This is something they invented here at this chapter. <laughs> it's a unique way I'm trying to do this. Like, yeah, like you'll have a little more of a, because you have the sense and everything. Yeah. So you're going to have a little more advantage than, say, everybody else. So sure. I might actually be telling you, you're getting closer, where I might tell them they don't smell anything. Okay, perfect. This like out-of-game so description helping us learn the mechanics of the mod. Well. Okay. I picked them out ahead of time, so when we're doing the... The game, I will Get ready to see some on the fly so puzzle solving and <laughs> combat adjustments. Well, if you want to try to taste every single piece Player creativity is always invited too. You're good. Oh. Oak the Dryad is certainly allowed to lick the armor if he wants. So whimsical, that dude. The area is. This is like a four year. It's just. Oh, treat this is impassable just because. This is impassable. That's yeah. so you got a little lid there for safety. Okay. And we're also offered a little out of game Ooh, tour here, clarifying to see the space, what doorways are open for exploration, and what areas are out of game or backstage. This is actually open. Oh, they're already in the foyer. It's common to have a little pause before a mod to understand how it works and what the space is supposed to look like in-game. Lay on, let's go! I don't smell anything. Front era. Knowing we have limited mobility in a dungeon like this, I let the shields set up first. I'm almost a backline person at the beginning. But I take my scouty spot at the edge of the shields. Mostly counter striking on their exposed arms. Ten silver, ten silver. Ten silver, ten silver. Got it. You're swinging eights. Eight and eight. Ten silver. And once the enemy line is thinned enough, I circle around to clear out that last one. Over here. Moving in with a sense of urgency as per usual. Let's go. Get the job done. Are you guys with me? Nakujo takes a moment in-game to make sure she has the defensive backup that she needs to so she can focus on this seeking objective. But once a guy begins to enter from the other side of the room, definitely time for a surprise attack. You get to take all those. With my special magic item armor, it's ritually imbued, I can sometimes use only three seconds to refit. So Flora's appearance right there with her shield is the perfect chance just to duck quickly behind and use one of my fast refits. So out of game here, Matt is telling me warmer or colder as he watches Nakujo search. I get some on-the-fly clarifications out of game from Matt. Yeah, there's something right in here. It's like buried a little bit. Give me, give me like one minute, okay, to focus on it. Which I quickly convey as information and insight in game. The first glyph was found. This was a super fun mechanic to navigate for me. Figuring it out on the fly. Oh, I, got one. I got one. 
Can we ha- can we make Oak hold them? Obviously, she's making someone else hold the goods so she can keep moving quickly without digging around in her pouch. She's got to keep these surprise attacks going before the NPC finishes their three count. Uh oh. I apologize for my scarf here. Blocking the camera a little. But Flora comes in, and even just with a little bit of distraction that she offers, I can push in aggressively into his side. You okay? Do I smell anything right here? Yes. Something here? When it's two PCs against one NPC like this, it's easy to be more successful in greedy counters because when they're outnumbered, you can sort of outspeed them more easily. So this guy has to focus on me and Oak. I can easily get a couple hits in when he tries one strike with his split attention. I combo two in on his strikes and then return to block. And as a greedy aggro character, my blocks are not always successful, but at least I'm winning the race then. I can soak a few of his strikes into my armor, and I'm still cutting him down faster than he's cutting me down. And I can just refit my fancy armor. So I'm getting extra strikes in when he changes from swinging at me to swinging at Oak. And now I'm focusing on the seeking objective. Okay, I'm gonna start digging through something. Oh, no, you know what? You went right to the spot. Oh, sweet. I'm gonna give it to you. Thank you. Yeah, excellent. That would be a uh, I found two. I don't want to hold. Who's holding these? I'll hold it. Okay. Uh, I could use another refit. Need Eight another refit, five, and it's crazy four, how an entire wave can enter within a three-second three refit. refit. Nikujo calls for everyone to regroup here to make sure that we know how we're handling these few that just came in. Okay, let's form up. It becomes clear that one squares up with the shield and this other one here is opposite Noldrick and his polearm. As soon as I saw Tyr encircle the one on the right, I knew I could circle the one on the left. That's the best thing about scouts is when you can divide the line of the NPCs and isolate them into little circle blenders. That little group up helps us take stock of the area of the battlefield. All right, Matt, I'm sniffing over here. And then we can pair off and understand our assignments. We know our styles and our focuses here. Just take a minute to assess as each wave enters. Check in with the information and the battlefield between waves. Has anyone else found? Okay, has anyone else found anything? Because I found two. Know where the people are, know where your allies are, and who's doing what. So I continue to keep focus on my job here, okay. using my special scenting to find them a little more efficiently. I do hear Tyrion taking care of the monsters on the sidelines. As Matt is leading me through it. Digging down here. What a creative way to keep a sense of uncertainty and mystery. Things. Oh, nice. I got another one. As soon as I find it, I can jump on another surprise attack opportunity. It's okay, I just won't take it. I'm good. Little headshot, no big deal, it happens. It looks like we have all the glyphs there, so we can make our fighting retreat. Though I was honestly having so much fun. This was a good group of people. Okay, we can leave now. Hey, Tyrion, Tyrion, Tyrion. Me asking out of game if that was supposed to be a wall of the backside of the armory, but I guess not. Is there a wall behind you? <laughs> Tyrion circles first and asks questions later, I guess. Having just okay. enough space to circle one monster with a partner is a really satisfying sort of situation. <laughs> it's not a hallway, it's not an open field, this is a mod, it's a dungeon I room. I want it, I want it, I want it. We're just having so much fun circling around them in this neat space. You gotta jump back in just for some more sparring. Hold. Oh, time out. Oh, his face melted right off. 
If you ever lose your costuming or your prosthetics, feel free to call a timeout and adjust yourself. Let's go. Oh, come on, one more. 20 silver, 20 silver, 20 silver, 20 silver. Oh, you blew it up! So knowing the space you have and the numbers that are available, adjusting your mobility for the context of the space you're in is really important work for a scout. You don't have to, you don't have to stay with us. We're just having fun. I'm not doing drive-by sweeps across a whole line of their backs like I might in a field. I am keeping tightly circled around one, maybe two, in a room. So eventually, after a lot of fun taking on an extra wave, she finally opts to leave. Honestly, because her armor is nearly breached. Okay, now let's go. I'm gonna start taking body points. A cool thing about my three second refit is that it's also enhanced to offer 60 points of armor. Times five is 60. Oh, it's perfect. I just need to refit now. So in this last little fun wave, she ended up taking a clean five hits of 12 stone each. So we found three more? That's, and that was that's exactly her armor. How satisfying. Very cool. I think that was efficiently done. I am pretty pleased. Join the battle at AllianceLARP.com.